Hello and welcome to another video in where I show you all my preamp pedals with the chainsaw sound. So over the last few years, basically since I started YouTube, I've collected a huge amount of preamp pedals and I I've realized that I've never tried them uh, ATB with a chainsaw sound. So that's what we're doing today. I've uh, gathered over 10 preamp pedals that I think are fitting for a chainsaw sound. And we're comparing them using this Boss HM2. It's not my HM2 made in Japan. I thought I wanted to use the uh, another flavor. This is the HM2 made in Taiwan. It's uh, the younger one and it has a bit more bass and a bit more gain than the Japanese one. For the single chain we're using my XTN Fangen. Uh, this goes into the chainsaw with the settings dialed in as you can see. Level, low, high, full and distortion just a tiny tiny bit and I haven't touched this setup at all. Then we go into the different preamp pedals. From there, we go into the FX return of my PV VTM 60. The presence is on 5. The post is on 3 or 4 or something between 3 and 4. From there, we go into the Zua Reactive Load Box. And from there, we're going into my interface. And we're using Nadir. And for an IR, I've chosen to use Phil Plusoda's um, Mesa Oversized. IR. And now I'm showing you what pedals do this contest here. So it would be a shame if we wouldn't start with the classic, the Boss Metal Zone. This is the Metal Zone Wassercraft and we're using both the standard and the custom mode. After that we're using the Digitech Metal Master Distortion. Of course not the mixer out but the amp out. Most of the time I've used this pedal itself as a chainsaw, but it is a nice preamp as well, or at least we have to find out, the MXR full bore metal. Same as for the full bore metal could be said about the next pedal, the EXH Metal Muff with Top Boost. Again, I mostly use it as a chainsaw pedal, but it does a nice preamp job as well. Next up would be the Rocktron Zombie. This one I mostly use as a boost pedal to get some gnarly, disgusting distortion, but uh, first it's a preamp pedal. After that, we're using two Lone Wolf Audio effects pedals. We're using the Bullet Belt and the Lich. After that, we're using the Papers pedals Bare Metal Fury. This one is discontinued, however, it's, it's not discontinued, it's rebranded. I think this is now called the Vendigo. We also use the Black Hat Amps Gen Tonic. This one is a really modern pedal. Well, let's find out how it handles the saw. Then some of my recent favorite pedals, the Lichtheim Audio Gehenna Mark II. And two pedals from This Heavy Earth. We have the Slaughter and the Flash Rod. Last but not least, I have two special contestants where I'm not sure if it will work or not. It's the Jupiter FX Katastrophe. And we have another metal zone, but this one was specially modded by Jerome from ARB Custom FX, and we basically call it the Bandit Mode. It's modded. So I pre-dialed every pedal with HM2 engaged, and I dialed it to my liking. I didn't spend too much time dialing it, and you're hearing, first of all, you're hearing the sound without the HM2, and then I will engage the HM2. However, I dialed it not without hearing the HM2. I always heard the HM2.
preamp pedal did you prefer or do you think I'm still missing a preamp pedal? Let me know down in the comment section and of course let me know what was your favorite. And if you want to support this channel check out the links in the description and you might want to consider becoming a YouTube member. And with this being said, thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, check out my Instagram, may the force be with you and have a nice day.